I feel like great. you would fuck around with paganism, is what I'm thinking. Not paganism. <laughs> <laughs> Not paganism. Hi, what's your name and what do you do for a living? My name is Carly and I am a hospital chaplain, which means I respond to the spiritual and emotional needs of anyone in um, this particular hospital, a level one trauma center. Are you religious? I would say that I am religious. I'm an ordained Presbyterian minister. Today you are guessing if someone is religious or not. Yeah. I'm gonna bring in the first person. Okay. Hi. Hi. What are your vices? Whiskey and video games probably, uh -huh. and TV. Do you play adult video games? By adult video games, you mean like Call of Duty or something? I mean like Grand Theft Auto, but I don't oh. know if people yeah, play that something anymore. that would be rated mature, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Would you say that you're a simple person? Simple like stupid? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely not. No? <laughs> you're, simple like easy? I guess maybe I mean you're not simple, but you're logical. Oh, yeah. I like to think I'm logical, yeah. I would say not religious, potentially atheist. Yeah, that's right. It was a video game. The video games? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When did you know that you were an atheist? Uh, about when I was eight years old. When I prayed for Amanda Bynes to show up in my bed and oh she didn't Oh my god. <laughs> what did yeah. you want to do with Amanda Bynes? Uh, anything, probably. That's interesting. God didn't answer that prayer. Hi. Hi. Where'd you go to school, high school? I'm still in high school. <laughs> oh, you're still in high school? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. What do you do at school if you weren't on Zoom right now? I'm really big in like the theater program at my school. Yeah. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> that I can tell in your voice that you do great at theater. <laughs> and maybe the lipstick. <laughs> Is theater a very atheist thing? People would probably think like, oh, these are just like wild, godless children. Uh -huh. And like, maybe? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think happens after we die? <laughs> or what do you hope happens? Uh, I hope that I'll see my family again. Mm -hmm. I hope so too. I would guess that you would identify as not religious. Mm, why? Well, this is absolutely a biased assessment, but theater kids I think are probably <laughs> the most agnostic of the high schoolers. <laughs> but the idea that you just hope to see your parents after you die makes me think you might be agnostic. Uh, I'm Jewish. Oh, sweet. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I kind of am too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was so nice meeting nice you. Nice meeting you too, Charlotte. Bye. Where do you come from, Erin? I am from California. Okay. Yeah. Were you raised in a religious community of any kind? Um, yes, I was. Okay. Do you trust authority? I think that authority is often wrong. With power comes privilege, and if you use that in the wrong way, then like, I don't trust you, I don't like you, I don't want you in my life. So power is a big thing for you? I would say so, yeah. Yeah. And religions, I think, have power associated with them, by and large. Yeah, they do. So you're skeptical of religion, whether or not you're a religious person. And Perhaps, I, maybe. Maybe. I am leaning in the direction, I would think, I would imagine that you've been burned by religion in some way or another, like religious, capital R, communities. Yeah. But I think that you seem hopeful and, and connected to things that are deeply spiritual? I um, am actually Catholic. Okay. Um, which I know is curveball. I don't like authority and that's like basically the Catholic Church. Why Catholic? Um, I think Catholicism is really in my Irish Catholicism. I think it's not only a religion, but I think of it as culture in that like way that is important in my family. And so it's, it's a larger identity than just a religion for me. Yeah. What makes you feel most connected with your partner or with anyone else? As long as they're not like super opinionated, like negatively, I guess, yeah. I just vibe with them. As long as they're chill, I'm chill. Were your parents religious? My mom is Mormon and my stepdad's religious, but like neither of them are churchgoers. So you weren't raised doing 5 a.m.? Um, no, no, I went to church studies. with my grandma. My grandma's okay. Christian, okay. so I went to church with her all the time. Cool. Did you feel anything in that setting? Um, judged. I yeah. felt judged a lot. Yeah. Even though I wasn't out at that time, I, w I was always a little bit different. I would guess that since you were burned by religion, that you don't identify with that anymore. That would be my guess, that you might be 
spiritual but not religious. Yeah, you're you're kind of right. I identify as Luciferian, okay. which is um, we don't. It's not technically religion because we don't worship anything. It's we follow the idea of Lucifer. Okay. It's all building yourself up without bringing other people down to yeah. do so. How has it changed the way you see yourself? Oh, it's boosted my self-confidence so much. Like with the church, it was always, if you're not this, you're wrong. If you're not this, you're wrong. Yeah. With, um, with the Church of Satan and Luciferianism, it's be the best person you can be and just be yourself. What do you think happens after we die? Realistically, I don't think much happens. Okay. Um, I think you just... When you die, that's pretty much it. What makes you feel hopeful? Just trying to accomplish as much as I can in my life. Yeah. Um, so that way when I do eventually have a family and kids, I can provide to the best of my abilities. You know, my gut says atheist or non-religious. Yes, you are right. I am actually atheist. So did you grow up religious? My father's side is pretty much traditional Italian Catholic. And then my mom, um, her side of the family was more just kind of, it changed depending on the weather, I like to say. It's kind of up in the air, um, so pretty free as far as like any religion right. in that household. Okay. Lovely lips. Oh my god, uh, thanks! They really <laughs> pop against the white here. <laughs> do you have any rituals that you do in the mornings or on the weekends? Anything you do regularly to center yourself? I do affirmations. Okay. Um, sometimes I like meditate before bed. I want to hear more about meditation. Yeah. What does it look like for you? So I have a lot of trouble like falling asleep. Mm -hmm. So I started just playing like meditations at night, yeah. just mostly for sleeping. So um, it sounds physiological. Does it feel like more than that at all? Yeah, I think it like helps me clear my head a lot and okay. like get more like clear thoughts. I would say that I'm leaning towards <laughs> vaguely spiritual, but not religious. Okay, so I'm Muslim. Okay, practicing <laughs> Muslim. I like think I'm like I have a really strong faith, but uh -huh. I don't necessarily like follow the religion like piece by piece. Right. But uh, I feel like I have a really strong connection yeah. with God and like a really like strong like trust. I see like religion more as just like a feeling of peace. Absolutely. So, it was so nice meeting you. Nice Thank meeting you, you so much. <laughs> do you date? I do date. What's dating like? It's a little harder. The dating scene like online. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more difficult. What dating apps do you use? So I've used um, plenty of fish. Bumble. Right now I'm using coffee meets bagel. Okay. What are you looking for in your dating experience? Long-term mm -hmm. relationship. I want to get married. Okay. Um, I have a guess. Hmm. I think that you're a Christian. There's something about that fish dating website <laughs> that sounded Christian to me. Really? Because I feel like I don't <laughs> find a lot of Christians on Plenty of Fish, but okay. Oh, well, that, I just assumed it was like a, a Christian mingle, but on a phone, but I guess it's not. Yes, I'm non-denominational Christian. Okay. How do you experience prayer? What's it like for you? I feel like it, for me personally, it's more like a conversation mm -hmm. with God. Yeah. That's really sweet. So it sounds like God is a friend to you. Yes. Cool. Sakia, so, tell me about your happiest memory. My friend's trip. We went to California. Um, it was the first trip that I ever planned. And what did you do on the trip that was so special? Um, we went stargazing. We meditated. My friend group is very um, spiritual, so okay. we um, try to embrace every aspect and um, making sure that we love one another cohesively. Where do you learn or experience love the most? For me, it's more of my energy matches your energy then that's where the love can start. Do you two have matching energies? I kind of feel like you have great energy. I like like as soon energy. as I saw you from here, I was uh -huh. like, oh, first of all, pretty nice. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> how are you? Yeah. <laughs> I know that you're spiritual. I, that's like, my gut reads that. I feel I like you I... would fuck around with paganism is what I'm thinking. Not paganism. <laughs> <laughs> Not paganism. I am spiritual. When did you know that you were spiritual but departing from the religion of your parents? I knew I was spiritual when I was going through my whole um, HIV transition. Okay. And my family weren't doing a good job at focusing on my mental health, so I made it a job for me to do it myself. Mm -hmm. And because of that, it made me actually um, find an outlet for me to embrace my spiritual side, but at the same time, learning to love myself more than the way they made me feel like it. Right. You know? Yeah. That's really important. It of course. It sounds like it and saved I never, you in some ways. Definitely. And I always say that my diagnosis of HIV is never um, 
a burden for me. There's a degree where you can like still be happy and still right. live life. Yeah, <laughs> you can still watch the stars yeah, in California. Exactly. And, yeah. You can still be healthy and still happy. Awesome. It was really, really nice. To you meet too. You. I enjoyed this. I this love is amazing. Your energy. I'm taking yes. it with me. Thank you. How was that? Um, I'm tired. That's what I think, first of all. Why, why are you tired? It takes a lot of energy to try to get to the core of a person. Gosh, I was ready to call everyone like spiritual agnostic. That was what was surprising to it about me. Of course, there was part of me that wanted to be right. Maybe it's beautiful that I wasn't. And yet, I'm tired at the end of it.